Meanwhile, Taiwan Semi is holding on to early gains today after posting a quarterly beat, boosting full year revenue guidance as well. Meanwhile, I mentioned BMO, that's the Wall Street firm cutting estimates for the semi industry for this year and next. Type price targets going way down on a number of different stocks. Let's say NVIDIA, I'll mention a couple of the popular ones. NVIDIA 250 from three, NXPI, Jim owns that to 160 from 190, Skyworks to 120 from 150, Jenny's Intel to 40 from 50. Uh, what do you want to do with this, Jim? Because you do have exposure in yeah. NXP and NVIDIA. Uh, Taiwan Semi had a good story, but there are concerns about spending. There are also concerns about what was double ordering, and now you have a glut of chips after a shortage. Yeah, and I think that what you just said is what weighed down Micron about three weeks ago when they uh, announced earnings and got it down, and it was terrible, and everybody really felt awful. Then last week, or maybe it was two weeks ago, Samsung uh, guided positively. Uh, now you've got Taiwan Semi doing the same thing. This is a battleground sector as far as the health of the global economy goes. Um, so far, the scorecard is tilting ever so slightly in favor of the bulls. I think that's going to continue. It's not that I'm ignorant of what you're saying, Scott, about the double uh, ordering because of supply chain shortages. It's because there's large portions of the semiconductor world where these are still in high demand, autos being the top of the list, but Internet of Things as well. I mean, whatever you're manufacturing, if it's a complicated thing like an airplane, you're looking for more and more chips. Your supply chain has not yet unclogged. So overall, I think this tilts towards the bulls, but it is a battleground sector. Okay. Applied materials. You got, Jenny, uh, Intel, Teradyne as well. Yeah. So this is where we were talking about this last week, and I was saying I think you can buy the semis, you can buy semi-equipment testing, but you need to parse through the whole sector and see where the future growth makes sense given the current valuation. The other thing I want to make a note on on this downgrade is he's downgraded it, but there's still like 10 plus percent upside on his new price target. So NVIDIA is trading at, what, 150 now? His new price target's 50 bucks. I'm uh, sorry, uh, sorry, 250 bucks. Even for my little Intel, my beleaguered, terrible Intel, it's still almost 10 percent upside that he's suggesting. Um, I think, you know, this goes back to like buy when there's fear. Yeah. This is when you buy. You All buy right. when things are down. All right.